I'm an electronics engineer. I specialise in digital engineering and mainly in programmable logic. I've now went into management, so I've did engineering for about 20, 25 years and decided it was now time to go into management. As part of my management, I look after the firmware team, which is programmable logic team, and what I do is make sure they've got the training, the tools that they need, and the progression to get through the company. I also work on um, electronics, which go into planes for radars, and my job is to make sure that the hardware is certifiable and be, can be put on these planes. So the Women's Engineering Society was set up in 1919. Basically, um, women went out and became engineers during the war, and after the war, their men came back and they were told to go back to the kitchen, stop being engineers, but the women really loved being engineers, so they decided, no, we don't want to do that. They weren't allowed to join any professional institutes because there were women, so they set up the Women's Engineering Society. The plan was that it would be set up for a few years and then they disbanded it. Unfortunately, 94 years later, we're still here and we're still needing to promote women into engineering. The figures at the moment show there's only about 16% of engineers are female and we really need to increase that. So what WES do is WES works with the government, we work with companies um, and we work with um, professional institutes to try and promote women in engineering. And our whole aim is to inspire women to become engineers and to remain engineers. We set up our first conference five years ago and it was so successful that we decided to rerun the conference every year. And the aim of the conference is to bring females who are doing engineering at university, to bring them all together, to let them know they're not alone. There's a lot of women doing engineering and there's a whole variety of types of engineering that they can do.